Legend of Total War here with part 26 of my Total War Attila Let's Play campaign as Himyar. Previously, we uh, that we took out the Magyars and in declaring war on them, the Eastern Roman Empire ceded from our control. So as punishment, I took Rhodes and Constantia off them. And now I just need to go back over to their new capital and uh, finalize their punishment and re uh, resubjugate them. So I'll be crossing over there soon. Okay, public order in this region is goddamn disgusting. We really need to exempt it from taxation. And I probably need to get an army over here, because we've got like no garrison. They've got two military wharfs here, the morons. And two bloody thermae. Now that needs to be destroyed. What's this? Cavalry stables? Get rid of it. It's costing money. Alright, I need to bring an army down here. I'm gonna put it at Rhodes. Waiting for a new course. We'll see if we can convert this. In time. Okay. Yep, you convert to Fishing Wharf. Camel farms. Okay. As for this settlement here, I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Alright. Of course, now this region has public order issues, but that's okay. One more turn and we get a slight increase in public order. Plus one. Okay, now this guy was supposed to come up this way. And you, you're going up here. Because we're going to attack them. And we should probably declare war on them before we resubjugate the um, the Eastern Roman Empire again, because they're probably not going to be too ruly next time as well. Deal with their bullshit. It's still it's still worth it because they provide so much money, and I need it. I need the cash. All right. So over here, what do we need? We're going to need to. Okay, this will provide both food and public order. I certainly don't think I need any more um, w wine production. Let me just see how much wine have I got and how much I'm selling already. I've already got... Yeah, there's no need for more of it. So we'll just go down the public order chain for that. And as for sanitation, it is, for the most part, okay. For now. Actually, it probably won't be soon. Whatever. It's growing quite quickly. We just need to... Just need to deal with it. Okay, good, this is grown. What do we need here? What are we missing? We're missing the food building. No, we've already got that. Um, I can still build something else. What do I want to build then? How's the sanitation here? Current sanitation's at 13. Which is heaps. So really I could build whatever I want. It just comes down to public order. And food. There's not that much food here. So whatever we build needs to not consume food. Maybe that even shouldn't. Because there's nothing else we can do here to, to bring up food. Um, let me just see here. Maybe I should stop constructing these. Or maybe even knock that down a level. Yeah, I think I will knock that down a level. Because that will give back 40 food. I'd rather upgrade this. That provides more money and public order. We certainly don't need the growth. We do need that. Imperial Gardens don't take up that much food, but we're not going to need public order. There's the Academy. I don't really need that. 
that provides a, quite a lot of um, of money. Cost of squalor. Okay, we'll go with the Oriental market. Because very soon I'm sure the public order is going to be fine here. Just out of curiosity again. This uh, Imperial Palace. Where's the capital? If I build that, I believe it increases the public order to all regions. Let me see. Oh, wait. Um... Oh, did I not build one here? I'm going to need to, that's our capital. Okay, how are we going for food? Because I'll need to convert this, I think. Or oh, what's this? Lead. No, I'm just drawing the lead. Lead is not really that valuable to me. Plus, there's other resources we can get it from. So, just out of curiosity again. City center here. It does provide... Oh, shit, wrong thing. Um, public order of, to all regions, all provinces. So that's definitely, we need to build that. Now, where else do we have lead? I think there's some lead up this way. There it is. We'll develop the lead there. Because how much money do I make from lead? I don't think it's very much. It, for one thing, it's not worth very much. Yeah, soft and common. Just what I like. Um, yeah. And this navy, it's also going to be tasked with with joining these guys. But wait for they, wait till they get here first. Actually, I'll bring them over to this point first. I'm going to send you over there as well. Public orders, you know, going down. But if a revolt happens, a, re a revolt happens. I just needed to take it. Oh, actually, you should, you should actually come and stand in Constantia. I don't want the settlements taken. Okay, public order will, will last one more turn. This needs to be converted to our culture, and let's move on to the next turn. What? One of my governors die. Okay, where do we want this? Um, I want him in this province. Prefer a new person. Preferably someone young. So, political animal? Yeah, fine, you can have it. Ooh, that'll provide more influence. Alright, moving on. So next turn we'll finish that tech, that'll provide us with a little bit more public order. It's negligible, but it's still, it, every little bit helps. Anyway, it's the stepping stone to the to the final civil tech, well, the, the greatest civil tech, the one that provides plus five public order, reduced corruption, and um, um, state religion influence. My people can only dream of wealth like Fuck off. Quite frankly, if you declared war on me, I don't give a shit. I'd kick your ass. I'll take you all on, motherfuckers. I don't want to, I don't think it's beneficial for us, but I could. So we don't want to kill their emperor, even though he's the one that you know decided not to uh, declare war on us. I mean, to declare war on us. But the thing is with him is that he's got stats that I like because he doesn't particularly hate the fact that I'm a huge empire. I don't know. We just need to deal with the fact that keeping the Eastern Roman Empire under vassalage is going to be difficult, and I suppose. They felt that they were strong enough to um, to revolt against us. Good, that's what I wanted to see. 
Okay, I need to wait for the others to get here. So five navies should be more than enough to deal with the Eastern Roman Empire. So yeah, you just stay, I don't know, in the middle of them, whatever. You need to decimate them. They're not particularly good with their uh, integrity there. So what happened here? Looks like they sacked the settlement. Why didn't they bloody take it? Because they don't want to attack the, the gates. Whatever, they're just going to leave. That's stupid. Alright, public order here is still shit, but that's fine. Okay, eight turns until we get this glorious fucking tech that I've been looking forward to the entire bloody campaign. It's going to make things a lot easier. Now we need to get rid of the lead here so we can make make way for it. Okay, also we can now get this. Now it does consume 35 extra food but provides a lot of extra public order as well and extra uh, research rates so it's very useful stuff and also of course maximum allowed priests. So we've got a lot of um, food here so that's not the problem. We do need to keep in mind though that that we need enough food. We need 160 food for the Imperial Palace. So we'll need to make allowances for that. Something will have to be demolished. This will have to be converted to a fishing wharf. Provides the same amount of public order penalty, but will provide us with 70 food. And that'll be enough to feed um, an Imperial Palace should be enough. We can always knock that down a level if we need, really need to. I'm kind of hoping these Huns just fucking go on by. I do not want to fight them. Fuck off. Go somewhere else, you cunts. Of course, they've stopped growth in the region, the pricks. Oh, whatever. As long as the uh, the public order is actually not going up. Hang on, why are we taxing this region? It's like, no money to be had. Okay, I should have done that right from day one. Doesn't matter. Okay, so these guys, they're ready to rumble. <laughs> um, this guy's providing them with some experience. Well, he should be. They're all pretty much fresh. No, whatever. My Lord. When should we go and capture this? I think we should still wait. We fight for you, my lord. We fight for you, my lord. On the okay, moon, get up my here. Lord. You better get up here as well. Now, if you leave, the public order is bad. Damn. I guess we'll have to occupy another region in order to maintain public order. The thing is, growth won't happen quite as fast now here. I need you to spy on these guys. I need to know what I'll be up against. Doesn't seem huge. not much food here. Then again, we're not even taxing it. If we did tax it, there's enough food. Okay, good. So I don't want to build anything then. At least we're making some money. So you need to come and stand here to maintain public order. And possibly squash a revolt if it happens. Which, you know, probably would be a good thing if it did. Um, yeah, just come stand here, let the revolt happen, if it does attack, 
you'll come and help and squash it. What do we need here? I've already got sanitation, so go with more food. Go with more food. Grab this. Need them in a lot of regions. Okay, we, we don't have enough food in this province. But that's okay, we're working on it. Do you have food here? Yep, a little bit. Might have to convert this to food. If we want to build everything up, we'll need we'll need as much food as we can get. How much food we got here? That should be enough. Okay, now with this one here, public order seems fine. We're probably better off actually converting to fruit dryer. I mean, I don't really need the tradable goods that much, but we definitely need more food. Public order should be fine. Oh, hang on, there's not enough food here. We need to wait for this to grow. We need full growth for that. And that will take a little while by the looks of it. Okay then. Let's just move on to the next turn. Now, income's swelling up very nicely. That's good to see. So these guys on their expedition to go and smash the Eastern Roman Empire, put them back into the fold. Teach them a goddamn lesson. Alright then, that was a boring intern. Oh well, probably better to be boring than too busy. Okay, get off force march now. Or double time or whatever. Make your way over here. Make sure you stay together as much as possible though. So they can't just send anyone over us. There's no way they've got enough fleets to be able to handle this. They should be shitting their fucking pants right now. Or their togas. Okay, you need to get a bit closer, you're not quite close enough. That way if they take any one of us, they're, they're fucked. And next turn, we, we come over here, we, we don't take it away from them, we, you know, subjugate them. We sack the settlement and uh, punish them for their insolence. And they don't get these settlements back. The Western Roman Empire wants to come back, do they? No. 
It's weird because I don't even start off with this region. Now, the Western Roman Empire, they're not going to ever have the kind of tribute money that the Eastern Roman Empire have. Like I said, it's just due to the fact that somehow the AI, AI in this has managed to hoard up a huge amount of money. And that's why they can pay so much in tribute. The Western Roman Empire wouldn't be able to do that. Oh shit, that, f that food cost. What happened here? Oh well. Um, once we build that, we can recruit a priest here. That'll help. Well, if the food problem is already like maximum, we might as well just go all out. Same with that, I suppose. At your command. So, why aren't you providing more experience? Well, whatever. Who cares? He's not a very good champion. He's providing a little bit here and there. There's a bit of food here. After we've... Okay, with these techs, we need any of them. Extra tax rate. Yep, yeah. hang on, what's this do? Yeah, some of these techs are pretty good. Well, whatever, I'll, I'll work on it. They all need to get done eventually, all the techs are good. It's not like the Romans where they've got bad techs. There's no way this settlement would revolt anytime soon. And in seven turns, it'll get a plus five public order bonus. All right, so let's get up here. Because next turn, we have to take this, declare war on them before we subjugate the Eastern Roman Empire. How about you come and stand over here? And that way you can force march to here. And he's, he's regenerating very quickly. So it'll take more than 20 turns for the, it to revolt. I think we can turn it around between now and then. Don't build that, that's just going to cause more public order issues. I do believe I was going to destroy that at some point. But I was still going to build the um, thing there. How much food do we have? Alright. So, things that I need to work on in this province. It just needs, needs all these things to get done. It takes time. Okay, so Yathrib. What are we doing here? Let's see what the difference is. So, down here gives us recruitment capacity. That's shit. And that gives us more money and lots of iron to sell. So of course we'll go down to Foundry because that is just absolute garbage. What, that's a waste of a build slot in my opinion. Yeah, this needs to go because we need to start building up the palace chain. I believe I was going for this, so that's Forum, or Bazaar, whatever, same thing. Uh, yep, looks good, moving on. Why couldn't I get another city upgrade? Oh, because we hadn't built that one yet. 
Hmm. I'll just leave that as it is for now. No, public order here is bad enough as it is. Just leave it be for now. Lack of food. Maybe I shouldn't build all these things. Maybe the public order is fine at the moment. We've got 70 food. Build this one. We don't need sanitation. We don't need extra sanitation right now. Alright, public order here. What are we doing? What was I doing here? Oh god, I can't remember. Okay, we've got the palace. We've got the food trader. We've got this. How much food do we have? 160. And we'll have more in a moment. And over here... Let's get another one of those. No food here. Absolute zeroed out. So we can't build anything else until we build something here, I guess. Okay, I believe we can tax it now. Uh, technically, no, we can't, but we've got um, soldiers there to, to squash any revolts that happen. Actually, no, I said I didn't want to build that. Not yet. Oh, they've besieged the fucking settlement, the son of a, son of a bitch. Oh, they're going to keep doing this every goddamn turn, aren't they? Every turn, they're just going to keep doing this just to be a nuisance. But half a mind to maybe send you over there to go kill them. What about you? Yeah, whatever. Just get over there so you can kill the fucking pricks. They're going to do that every single turn just to be a nuisance. I've lost my spot. Where was I? Hang on. Is this region being taxed? I shouldn't be taxing this. There's not much, much, uh, much money in it, and that'll help with growth. Thracia. Uh, yeah, keep taxing that. Okay, now let's move on to the next turn. Okay, seems like my governors have been dying lately. Okay, it looked like the governor of Egypt was the one that died. Let me just have a look at Egypt to see how it's holding up. Okay, so they didn't take the governor's death very well. What are the problems here? The buildings are providing no public order. Why is that? Because of the fucking gold, of course. It's negating all of the public order bonuses. So this, that's providing plus three public order. That's going to provide plus three public order. So that's plus six. What's the religious penalties here? Minus eight. Judaism is not growing very fast. There's probably a lot of local traditions of other Christian religions. I'm going to need you to come over, come back over here. So that's going to cause problems with that one, but whatever. This region's more important. Where are we going to put this governor now? Over here. In Khorasan. They'll suck. So it should be right here. Right, let's just provide ourselves here with a bit of extra military fervor. And let's move on. Ready for orders. If 
if he sees that my army's on its way to come kill him, he might run away. Which is fine by me. I mean, I would like to wipe them out, but... They're, generally speaking, not... They're not that suicidal, un unless they're, um... They're not a horde faction. Jeez, the Huns must be busy. So, I hope you've enjoyed your independence. It's the last time. Look at that, they're already getting ready to leave. Well, they sacked the settlement of one of my allies. I don't really care. That would have damaged them quite a lot. Yeah, so they are pissing off. That's fine, go fuck up in the north. I don't give a shit about you. Eventually you'll have nowhere to hide. Now we absolutely want to make sure though that they don't destroy the Eastern Roman Empire because if they if they disappear completely all of their money disappears and that's what we want. I want a piece of their money. Money, money, money. All right, what are we doing? So what's this, my lord? Should we hold a fabulous feast inviting all the fuckheads and good blah blah blah? Um. Invite our allies. Why not? They've been good to us. So this guy here took a whole bunch of damage. What an idiot. Wasn't able to defend himself here. Although, that being said, look at that. We only need one navy. I didn't bring everyone all the way over here to pussyfoot around. We can only use four of them, but I'm going to bring five anyway. Now, before we do that, I need to come over here and declare war on these guys. So, they're at war with the Antians. Alright, I'll go to the Antians and see if I can actually I welcome offer you, to do this. Speaker. I listen because your people are known to have honor. And I want money for this. Ah, oh, come on. I want you to go to war with them. How about that? Nope, not a fair exchange, apparently. Whatever. At your command. So, no peace with these guys. They're rotten hell now. Good, we can nearly win just with this one army, and we're bringing another one. Because we have more professional units now. Besieging settlement. That other army wasn't quite as good. Didn't provide that much of a backup, but that's fine. This is more than enough. Ah, oh, they took a lot of damage, but that's okay. They're so easily replaced, it doesn't even matter. Now, what's in their final settlement? Half of an army. Okay, we should be free to... Well, you took no damage. Oh, look at that. Look what we've got available here for us. Yeah, well, I don't need to make use of it, I'm afraid. So, just recruit these. Because they've already got them. I don't need more. Ready for orders. You kind of could make use of it, I guess. Let me just see. What about you? Yeah, you should. Alright, so get rid of these stupid desert raiders. And... Let's see. Let's get rid of... Let's just recruit four. Alright, because we're already recruiting. That's okay. You're, you still have to sit there for a while anyway. Alright, so, Carpenter, we gotta destroy that. Ironsmith. Uh, we've already got iron being produced, so get rid of it. Keep this. Keep that for now, but. Actually, I don't need to repair it. 
Uh, it will give me extra army capacity. All right, fuck it. It's only 500. It's not much. Tower of Silence. We can convert that, I think. Yep. And Hammam. Yep, we can keep that. Good. Public order here is not brilliant. Well, we've got an edict there helping a little bit. I have a feeling the governor's not helping. Let's have a look. He's got low authority. Okay, well, he'll need some, some stuff. Uh, there we go. That'll that'll make up for you being an absolute idiot. What else have you got? Anything here that's going to provide you with authority. There we go. And um, Anything else for authority? That's useful. Fuck, yes. Extra growth. Alright, do we want to declare war on anyone else before we, uh... Before we do this. No. Let's do it. So we sack it first, teach them a lesson. They just fell over and died. Why do I only use three navies? Ah, who cares? It doesn't matter. So, sack it first. Let's have a look at the settlement. What have they got? Got harp? No, I don't want to smash it too badly because that would cost them money to rebuild it. Now subjugate them. And there's our money. That's what we were looking for. Got half a mind to leave these guys here. Alright. Now, they're at war with everyone we are. We need to protect them for the time being. But we're not gaining anything. So fuck it, we're leaving. They're not recovering. They'll be fine. None of our enemies are close by here. So, we've got them back in the fold. Now, how much do they hate us? Because of this. It's improving, but they're not particularly happy with it. Well, it's a rude fault. They, you know. Be welcome, but may God strike. Hmm. So it's improving. How can we improve it further? I guess we just need to wait for, their, for them to forget about the military actions that we've done against them. Which could take some time. Anyway, I'll back them up if if they ever get declared war on. Alright, that seems to be all we can do this turn, or all we need to do. Oh, hang on. I need food here. Good, that's improving food a little bit. We've still got probably the full penalty. Fucking Huns are back. But I think they're actually... Maybe somewhere else? No, they are raiding. But I guess I guess we managed to fix the public order a little bit. I don't know. Um, still upgrade this. What all I'm asking for is just like... A bit of growth. So I can actually build something here. Okay, you can still stay here. Okay, go for more food rather than public order, I think. Because public order will be fine. I believe I was getting rid of that. This needs to be converted. The thing is, though, converting it to that, that'll actually consume food, but that provides food. We just need to wait for it to grow. It's just going to take a little while. Is there anything here that provides... Oh, that provides extra replenishment, so that could be useful. This 
region's public order is going downhill. So, right, we're getting there. So, okay, there we go. Actually, what I'll do... How much food do we have here? I'm going to... It'll be quicker if I just convert this to palace. And then I'll rebuild this as the food market. Because we need to get it to level 4, and that's going to take it a lot longer. So, let me just see. It would take... Two, five, oh, wrong thing. Yeah, five, seven turns. That only takes four turns to get to there. So that saves us a few turns. I should have actually done that a few turns back. And where are we getting lead from again? Because I no longer have it now, do I? No, but that's okay. I didn't seem to need it. This region here. We fight for you, my lord. Um, this region's growing so slow anyway, so I'm going to come up here and take this. But do not stay there. Because you never know when the Huns are just going to declare war on us. Oh shit, that did not help with growth at all. What a pain in the ass. This will at least, this settlement will provide more growth. What we'll do is we'll build that one first and make it into the fountain. Because that will help with growth. But I need to get access to, um, to lead again sooner rather than later. Just out for my own personal preference. I want all of the tradable resources. At least one node of them. Okay, let's move on. My Lord. Okay, you can stay there now. Maintain the public order. Until such time as... Hang on, why is this enemy water here? Didn't we subjugate... Who we needed to? Or did the Caledonians own Gortinia now? I didn't check. Nice, quiet in turn. That's what I like to see. We're making nearly a hundred thousand a turn. I could afford fucking six times as many armies as I've got. Oh, not maybe twice as many. We make this modest request in the nope. knowledge that you. You had your chance before that. You chose to piss me off. Good, now that faction destroyed, fine with me. Invite the Antians, who cares about them? Okay, so what roads here? I was gonna build another food thing, so let's just get the camels done first. So why does this say it's enemy wars? Ah, oh, right, because it goes all the way over to here, because of that. That's okay then. So who owns this? Still just the Geats. Now, I do trade with the gates, so I, I can't go and attack them. Yes. I'm going to keep my naval forces near here. Just out of curiosity, if I was to put them on patrol, it does give them more integrity. Okay, you go sit over here. They really don't replenish very quickly. But it's fine. Okay, so does the Eastern Roman Empire, do they still hate me? Of course they do. But it's now it's actually deteriorating. Well, whatever. And they're still paying me the full amount. Look, as long as they keep paying me, I don't really give a shit. You get back down to Macedonia. Because problems will be coming. Alright, it's growing. So that's good. If 
Five more turns until this. Okay. So, we can make it over there straight away. Do so. Let's just be done with this. Let them cower before our might. We take this settlement for you, my lord. Alright. And this should be the end of this faction. See, they make a huge difference to the balance of power there. Those are other reinforcements. Just occupy it. And that should be the end of them. Yep, good. Another faction that we don't have to worry about ever again, as long as a revolt doesn't happen. Okay, public order's not great, but that's just because of conquest and instability. Whatever. Um, okay, I don't want to destroy this yet, because we're still recruiting down here. Don't need this, though. Build that up. Ironsmith. No, we're knocking that down. Nissian Stables. Yep. And Camel Farm, perfect. Destroy this, don't need it. Although we do get some units that we can't get anywhere else from that one. Jamal Al Balfa. I'm pretty sure they're just out of some fucking camels, I don't care about them. Yeah, repair that. Good. The settlement will come under control soon enough. Why don't we tax it as well? Sort of typical. They never keep their food under control. We can still maintain... Oh, hang on. Yeah, we should still be able to maintain public order even... Uh, even when... Um, even with this penalty. And plus, we should be able to fix up the food eventually. Because we'll destroy that and build something food. Nearly 100,000. Are there any provinces that we're not taxing? I think there's a few. Okay, yeah, we're not taxing the regions that are really small because we're trying to grow them. Okay, I think we would be fine if we went and captured this now. We've got enough growth to get that going. You know, it will d it significantly slow down the growth rate. But, at some point, we just got to get these regions started. Alright, now what? Okay, we're pretty much in the clear now. We can just get some R&R, &R, move on to the next turn. Public order here is drastically improved. Good to see. Five turns until we get all that extra bonuses. It's going to make it things so much easier. Especially in those few regions in the east that are poised to rebel soon. Once we research this tech, that'll fix everything to do with them. We have simple needs. Fuck off. I have simple needs too. Gold. Give me gold or fuck off. Okay, let's see what's going on here. 
matter of states, another one of these shits. Alright, so let's see. Just received an official complaint about him. Hmm. Gravely insults it out. Hmm. Should demand tribute. Alright, so how many factions are left? 26. So, people have been dying out. Okay, East Roman Empire, they actually like us now. How the fuck did that happen all of a sudden? The gods bless us with your presence today. I, will... I don't want to take money off them, because we don't want to actually lower their treasury. We just want to enrich them so that they can keep providing us with more money. Of course, they will defect from us again at some point. They usually do. The gods will have me listen to you. Now, why do you say low? Words without merit. We can we can make a lot of money together. No, that's too much. I'm not paying you that much. Hundred thousand. Drop it. We drop a zero. I can make my money back in a few turns. You assholes. Come on, we're at war with the Caledonians too. That makes us blood brothers. Not really. Um, okay, I'll ask for instead third. Oh, well, not ask for. I'll pay them thirteen thousand. Oh, that's demands. Whoops. Shit. Good. That makes me more money, and another friend for the future, somewhat. So if you have a look here, we're making a ton of money through trade, and we've we've now breached that hundred thousand talent mark. So we're only selling off thirty one percent of all of our spices, selling off a hundred percent of all of our gemstones. So we need to make more gemstones. Then, where do we get that from? From here. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that a huge priority. So over here, okay, public orders. Not as good as I thought it would be. Of course, we still got that huge food penalty. It's okay, we can we can improve it. We fight for you, my lord. Okay, I'm gonna keep these guys behind, but you're gonna go up north and occupy some more territory out here. Ready? Need to get them started with these desolate territories. Okay. Public order went down even further, but that's okay. We probably should just not tax it because we want this region to grow and it needs public order for growth. And the amount of money that we make off it isn't really that essential. Okay, so if I just put them on patrol. Set up the patrols. So it makes a little bit of extra money in the area. No for you, and it improves their integrity. And if you look here, there is no wealth lost by piracy because we're absolutely patrolling this area like crazy. The rate of replenishment is really slow, but I don't really need them right now, so it's fine. Public order here is still not particularly stable, but it'll last for four more turns. How are we going down here? So it's getting there. It'll be a while before we actually get to this. It'll, you know, it's, it is only extra one plus one. Um, that's what they're doing here for food. Oh, that's right, converting this. Because that was a trade wharf, I think. Same with that one. Need the food. There is enough food here, but I might just leave that. We've got the sanitation under control for now. Okay, 
Okay, I believe there was something up here with an empty build slot. Okay, and I was gonna go with food because that one's gonna be sanitation. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Hmm. just trying to think what the best thing to do was um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna screw it just gonna go build the well here because that does provide extra growth but I'm probably gonna demolish it and build it there instead because that would be a better spot for it to build two food things in a region rather than three in one and one in the other okay you're still recruiting so we don't want to demolish this thing just yet all right, let's just move on to the next turn. Some idiot champion I don't care about. Was it just me or was that an Eastern Roman Empire army? that went all the way to Britannia to go fight them. What an idiot. However, the, the Caledonians probably did, probably did me a favor. By destroying that army, the Eastern Roman Empire remains a little bit weaker. They're not likely to um, betray me anytime soon. Because I think the, uh, the Eastern Roman Empire last time, they got a bit of a... Uh, bit full of themselves I thought they were strong enough to take us down boy were they wrong thing is though I can't retreat, um, raise any more armies until my Imperium increases and it's pretty much never going to increase we have to wait a long time for it to increase to the final level I really would like to kill them also, the more we expand up north, we, we lose our bonus um, to attrition, so we're good fighting in deserts, but out in, the, out in the woods, in the north, in the steppes, not going to be very much use to us. Yeah, that's fine with me. It's only a thousand, though. Taking this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, things are going to expand here very quickly. So that's what we want to see. It should be very, very easy to grow this settlement. Don't tax it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Good public order here is under control. That's what we want to see. Um, I guess I might as well build food here. I don't know, we'll see. All right, what are we missing here? We're missing a palace and a forum. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Get rid of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we should have heaps new... Um, we can now have 10 priests. Alright, well, let's get one here. Oh, I could only get... So, well, maybe that's depending on the region that we're getting it from. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuck. Alright, let's have a look where I might need one. No, I can only get so many a turn. Everything seems under control for the most part, so let's just move on to the next turn. This guy's a governor. Give him this extra public order. At your command. We really just don't have any choice. We just need to burn through turns. Consolidate these territories that we've been recolonizing. Not in our interest to go fight 
the barbarian factions. Their settlements suck, and we're actually making money out of them. The Caledonians, though, they'll never accept peace. But that being said, it's not worth going all the way to Britannia to go fight them. It'd be funny to see the, the Huns in Britannia, though. With that, I think we'll end the video there. So, how's the situation? Everything's looking good. I mean, we've got growth happening all over the place. That's really, that's all we could really want. That growth is happening really quickly. We're sitting on 71 territories across 19 provinces. We've only got 48% Judaism, and we're one turn away from getting the ultimate civic tech there. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 27, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.